Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new feature which we just came out with uh, called Keyword Finder. And basically what it does is it will show you a list of keywords that you are already ranking for for a particular uh, domain that you enter. Which is great because there could be a lot of uh, keywords that you're ranking for already and didn't even realize it. So let's get right into it. So let's click Add a New Campaign, Organic Search, and click Next Step. Now, if you remember, we have single keyword, which is the typical campaign where, the, where you just enter one URL, one keyword, multiple keywords. Um, it's very straightforward. One URL and then multiple keywords, one per line. And now we have keyword finder where you have to select a group name. Let's create a new one and call it uh, hidden keywords. And then for this, you would enter your main URL. Now, don't enter uh, like an inner page. You want to enter the root domain that you're trying to find all these URLs and keywords that you're already ranking for, right? So I'm just going to select, uh, I'm just going to input a project of mine that I haven't really done anything with in quite a long time. Just one of those sites where you, you start it and prioritize other things. But um, So I entered the main URL here, selected Google, and I'll click Next Step. And it will find all the keywords in URL and uh, URLs. Let me just bring this window down a little bit to get it all. And it has uh, pagination as well, so you can see it showing one to ten of 27 entries. And I can expand this to show all of them. Uh, let's do 20 for now, but I mean, you could uh, literally have some that have hundreds of entries, depending on how many keywords you're ranking for. So it shows you, you know, the URL. Um, that you that you have and the keyword that that particular URL is ranking for and then the rank and it just does that throughout so you know here's one for St. Louis here's one for Chicago so on and so on and what you can do is you can just uh, select all of them here by clicking this or you can you know just kinda select pick and choose the ones that you want to target now I will what I'll do is I'll select 50 here to display all the results on one page so I can scroll down you can see all those and I will just click this button here to select all of them. And as I go through the rest of the campaign, um, Auto Keyword Updater is a really cool feature. And uh, you can just read this here. But basically what this does is if you enable it, which I had, it's on by default, if you start to rank for any new URLs and keywords, um, you know, after you create this, after you generate these campaigns, so right now we have one, we have 27 total. So let's say in a couple days, you know, number 28 pops up, you have a new URL and a new keyword we'll find that automatically and we'll create that new campaign for you. So that's a pretty neat feature to have. If you are happy with just what shows up here and you don't want to ever automatically add to uh, those campaigns, you can just disable that. Um, I don't really know why you would want to. I would definitely just want to keep that on. Uh, you can still do all the other stuff in normal searching. Uh, I will disable this and you can turn off Smart Rank if you want and just set these manually. A lot of that's going to depend on what you think the search volume is for this. Um, you know, some of these terms are probably you know low search volume, but you can trust Smart Rank and it'll automatically update for each one, which is a nice thing to do. For that, I'm just going to keep Smart Rank on, and I'm just going to trust that to deliver the appropriate um, uh, number of searches and time on site based on my current rank and the search volume. All right, and I'll click, and you can see right here it tells you that these options will generate 27 campaigns. All right, so what this does is basically basically a, a quick way to generate campaigns. So when I get done with this, you're going to see 27 campaigns all assigned to uh, this group name, hidden keywords. Right. All right, so let me just scroll to the bottom here, and I will click save, and it says submitting. Okay, so now we're on this screen and we see that we have the group name hidden keywords. There are 27 campaigns that we generated inside of here. And if you click on the group folder itself, you will see all of these keywords listed here that we, that we created and generated. Um, now, this keyword rank will, will update every day just as everything else uh, does in CrowdSearch. And everything is turned on. If you wanted to click uh, to view each individual campaign, you just click the edit button and you can see the specific settings for each campaign. But um, you can see that this is a super easy way to generate 
uh, different campaigns, different URL and keyword searches for a lot of different variety, which is you know great to have because these are keywords that you're already ranking for, so it makes sense that you should receive some traffic from them. And uh, this will just help boost each one individually, but then as a whole, um, it just helps pull all of your keywords up together. So that's uh, that's really how you use this feature. Pretty powerful, but um, you know, simple in application. So hope you enjoy it.